welcome from my side. Um, I'm really happy that you invited me here to be here. Since 2007 now, I'm running the Hasso Plattner Institute School of Design Thinking, as we called it. So what we are thinking is, we are looking at two things. One is, what is the most inspirational source, the highest inspirational source for coming up with new ideas? Usually, in Germany, for example, we are a country looking at technology first. Yeah. Or business first. What we are saying, the most inspirational source for coming up with new ideas is looking at people first. Looking at the needs of people. Because the needs nowadays in the connected environment, in a connected society we are living in right now, is changing. They are changing so fast, so dramatically fast, you have to be very, very close to the people. Technology is a, somehow a little bit behind. And you need to bring people, think different things together in order to address those needs. So we spend a lot of time looking for desirability, looking at human needs. Just, let's, just let me show you what we do currently, how we, or what we do with the students. We have this 120 students. We, we have them confronted all the time, not with a lot of lectures, but with a lot of problems from companies. So for example, we go to small companies, startups like Value 5, and ask them what is one of their, your major problems. And we have our students work for 12 weeks for one semester trying to help them to solve this problem. Like how might we improve the community feeling of teleworkers in this startup? Or SAP with a huge problem, how to orchestrate better large software systems, like how to, how to orchestrate SAP and Oracle and other systems in a big environment. Usually as a student you would say, oh, no. I have no idea about this kind of stuff. It's way too complex. As a team of students with different backgrounds, and maybe none of them is a software guy, you say, okay, I'm trained in a design thinking way. I know how to approach this right. And they came up with, with very interesting results and insights for the sub-professionals. You know. Those companies are all dealing with design thinking. They are doing consulting work. They are doing project, a company. They see they see the big demand which is there right now in the German industry. You have to imagine 10 out of 20 largest German companies are partnering with the D-School. I couldn't imagine, I wouldn't have imagined that five years ago. I was thinking we have a hard time to approach those. But the, the pressure of change in the companies, in companies is so hard that they are looking desperately for interesting ways. And the companies are coming back, like DHL, they're coming back every, every year. We are part of their future um, initiative, their innovation initiative. Metro, big retail, they're coming back every year. They're saying, we need this kind of fresh input from your side. We are used to do things like this. And I call this the Brockhaus way. In Germany, we have this encyclopedia Brockhaus, which is the most famous one. You have this, all the letters, like 30 books, A, B, C, D, E, and over the years, if you bought this, um, if you bought those books, you got all the all the knowledge of all of the whole mankind in German, and it's put in it's put in the shelf, you know. And this is how we structure reality. The basic notion here is separation. You know, we put B apart from A, and M apart from F. The problem is that doesn't work anymore. In a connected society, this kind of thinking is obsolete, as well as the Brockhaus is obsolete. Seven years ago, the head of Brockhaus, that time they were still on the market, he was asked, is Wikipedia any threatening thing for you? And he was saying, no, no, no. Wikipedia is just a, that's a bunch of amateurs, and uh, we are the professionals, we are delivering the, the right stuff, and people want to get this one. Two years later, they are going totally down. Now they, are, they disappeared. They're not there anymore. Because what we are doing is we're using the networked version of how to set up knowledge, which is called Wikipedia or Google. We want to have this real-time access to the things which are updated also in real time. And we want to have the links. We want to have the connectivity to other things. We don't want to have the, the the, 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 the borders in between. We want to cross the borders. That's what people like. 
even if it's not a highly professional thing, it's still the thing we're using all the time. And I'm just writing a book. Um, I started writing a book about the end of Brockhaus thinking because my thesis is we are in this transition phase from here, from this kind of linear, linear thinking, disconnected thinking, to a connected thinking. And if I put myself up here, I would state myself here. I'm not there because I was trained in school, as well as you were, to disconnect things, yeah? to be focused on one, on the individual, not to connect M and K and L and P. But this is, it's all about now, the connection. We have to find it, and we have to find the ways to rethink things. And that's the big, the big issue right now. And that's what we are doing with our students. If you see, this is students here. We don't train them to be apart. We train them to work together, to collaborate. And that's star that starts reshaping their thinking. But you still have to imagine most, 99% of the organizations, of the thinking of people is like this right now. That's the big challenge. And that's why we are, that's why I'm thinking, that's why I'm thinking design thinking is so important. Because design thinking is giving you assistance to maneuver through a connected environment, to a connected society. It's not giving you everything. It's so hard to explain what it is because it's not done yet. It's still in the process. And it will probably never be done because this network thing, this network structure, is like an organic structure. It will grow, it will change, it will move, it will be something different and very, very different compared to what we are seeing in right now. And that's so important. And this is basically it from my side. Thanks a lot. I'm a little bit over time. Thanks a lot for your attention.